I've been asked if I've noticed any weight gain or pimples taking these. Check. channel thank you guys so much for stopping by so today I'm going to be discussing taking these sugar bear hair vitamins and giving you guys a six months update I just want to mention this is not a paid promo I'm not sponsored by sugar bear hair vitamins I'm just solely giving my honest opinion and uh, recommending it to you guys now for those who are new and are stopping by for the first time I cut my hair back in July 2019, the exact day is July 12, 2019, because I thought I'd wear my hair curly and it didn't go as planned. So um, I started taking these Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins as of January 13, 2020. So a little bit over six months. So back in January 2020, my current hair length was 12 inches long and that was just measuring from the base of my head right to the longest piece. Measuring my hair. Okay, from the, the base, the lowest most point where the hair is starting to grow from okay. to the bottom down here, when you keep your head level, there you go. We have like exactly 12 inches. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, like my hair used to be like 16 to like 18 inches long. I'm That's pretty long. No, it's not. Like to me, it's short. I can tell that it's short to others. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you still have long hair, but oh my gosh, my all my babies helped me grow that hair. I'm so sad. Last month, I measured my hair to be 15 inches long. The longest piece, Greg said, was 15 and a quarter. So I saw my hairstylist on July 1st, and she ended up trimming my hair because there was a little bit of damage. So I thought I'd just wait till the six month uh, mark to give you guys an update. I take two of these vitamins a day. I take one in the morning and one at night. I am on my last bottle. So I said before that I buy these in three month packages. So I'm on my third bottle and I plan to purchase another three month pack and I'll continue to do so up to my one year date. So I'm going to do a bit of a Q&A and answer some of the questions I received in um, my comments. I've been asked if I've noticed any weight gain or pimples taking these. I have not. There's nothing really in here that should cause acne and weight gain. These are all beneficial vitamins. I've also been asked how long after taking these did I notice results? I started noticing results one month after taking these Sugar Bear hair vitamins. I noticed that my hair was getting longer and thicker. I know there's a lot of hair vitamins on the market. People have also recommended uh, Nature Bounty hair vitamins, which I will look into once I'm done trialing these. I'm super open to trying different things, anything to promote hair growth because who doesn't want long, sexy, thick hair? If there's any other ones out there, please drop them below. Let's just have a positive community helping other men and women um, looking to find good hair products. So drop comments below, let everybody else know. I do recommend these vitamins for both men and women. The only side effect is, I mentioned this before, um, I noticed little whiskers on my chin. I do not approve of, and I am doing laser hair removal, and I notice once I'm done my treatment with laser, the hair is growing back so much faster. So I had to put my treatments on hold because it doesn't make any sense. Because these just are like super growing hair formula pills. So these seem to be really efficient. I'm going to post a link to my Instagram for my first month of taking these vitamins, second month and third month, because I didn't start vlogging until I was well into my fourth month of taking this. So if you guys want to reference, just check out my Instagram at Chantel PR. You can just go ahead and look. My hair was like super short. It was like, it was like up to here. And now it's like definitely touching my booty. So I'm pretty pleased and it's super thick. And no, I don't perm my hair. I'm just really bad and I flat iron it a lot. So I do go through breakage and stuff, but I try to see my hairstylist every month to get it washed, trimmed and flat ironed and try to keep it as healthy as I can 
while using a flat iron. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I'm taking these two. So whatever comes out is gonna come back in because these bad boys are, they're working for me. So I have been asked if I tried any other vitamin um, and I have tried biotin because I heard that um, the main source in this is biotin and it will help hair growth. I tried that at first. It was the 5,000 micrograms. Um, I wasn't noticing much hair growth just from that. So I decided to switch over to this, which contains, I think, the same amount of biotin. Yep, this one's 5,100 micrograms. So really, there's a combination of vitamins and minerals in this targeted to hair growth and I think I'm benefiting from that rather than just the biotin, okay? So uh, we're going to measure my hair and see where it's at now. It's a bit puffy at the roots, so it's hard to get a true measurement, and it's so hot here in Toronto. Um, but Greg and I are gonna do the best we can and see how my hair is growing. Yeah, that'll do. This is the semi puffy now length after being trimmed. I have 14 and a half. I'm at 14 and a half inches, but that's healthy length because the ends, if you looked at the previous video, it kind of looked a little dead. So we'll see how my hair journey progresses over the next few months. I'll give you guys an update next month and we'll do another measure then. So if you guys have any further questions, please don't hesitate, drop a comment below. I will definitely answer any questions you have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell because I don't want you to miss a thing. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.